Hey YouTube. So I'm going to try to do this with my phone here for a minute. I've been wanting to make this video for a while with the uh, BX. It's the 23S. That mower deck. There. 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 Don't laugh. It's harder than it looks. That mower deck is actually from a BX22. When I bought the uh, tractor package, I just got the front end loader and the backhoe. Um, the mower deck was pretty pricey, actually, to increase the financing by a good amount. Funny story is, is like even the older decks from like the BX22, this one was in pretty good shape. Um, I got it pretty cheap from my dealership. He had it in the lot, and uh, I was like, I'll take it. So there's a couple of pieces you have to buy. Like there's a uh, float bar down here. I don't know if you can see it. There's a float bar there that had to be changed out from what it had. Um, you have to have this. Um, we're going to call it a hooch majigger because I can't remember what you call it. I mean, it's the lever to lock up the front of the deck and then the uh, front hooks there. Those are all new for that deck to fit that tractor. Um, I don't even know what the total price was of those because he just included it. <sighs> There's the old float bar. Um, so I put some uh, black paint on the two covers, painted the chute black. It was kind of bent up. Did this hillbilly chute rig here. This is real nice. It's a factory. I did that to it. I just like uh, the discharge to go out further and I, whatever. I bought some Kubota orange implement paint, touched up the deck. It's got no rust on it. The belts are in good shape. I just, you know, you really want to watch your gearbox on any implement and grease fittings. I mean, keep them greased. If you don't grease them, they're not going to last. So I want to get some mowing video here. Um, just showing you this tractor mowing. It is a really nice cut. I have a zero turn mower. I usually stripe the front yard with a zero turn, but I get so happy riding this thing. I find myself going around mowing the front yard in circles. Uh, it mows really nice. I don't even run this thing at PTO speed when I'm mowing. Like, I just go to uh, about 20, 2500 RPMs. Like anytime you're engaged in a PTO, you know, you want to be down at idle. It's kind of a violent start up there for a second. But once it once it's going, I speed it up to about 2,500 RPMs. I put it in, you know, second gear and click right along. And it seems that the mower does such a good job mowing, no matter how fast I go on the tractor, it keeps up. So, um... I just want to share that with you. Like if you're looking to buy one and you, you know, you check out online sites or dealerships, you might be able to find a used deck to put on your new tractor. If you're looking to like save some finance costs or something like that. Cause like I said, it, it is pricey. I think it's around $3,000 for a deck. You know, there's the drive over deck. There's the slide in deck. This is just a slide in deck. I don't even turn the caster wheels, the, uh, the pens can be moved so it goes sideways to roll under easy. I mean, if you <laughs> if you have any strength at all, you can slide this thing right under. Um, something right here, your depth gauge. Like if you're going to do anything else with the tractor and you want to leave the deck on and it's not going to be real rough, make sure that you put your three-point hitch all the way up and get it to the top position. It will lock it in the up position. Because if you're trying to use your three-point and you don't have that thing locked in top position, like, you will tear your deck up. So, uh, I don't know how other people are. I'm not always the best about reading a manual and, hey, wait, let me find out every function. But, I mean, this stuff's kind of elementary. You can figure it out. So, I mean... If you're using it for other things, you're keeping your deck on, keep it in the up position, keep it locked in, take the stress off of those arms. This connects just like the new decks that come with it. So I just want to share that with you and then I'm going to try to get some video here of it mowing. I might even, I don't know, I might grab the GoPro. 
I literally was just using the drone to do it and it started raining so I had to stop anyway but the drone like I don't know if it's bipolar or what its deal is it just decided it was going to like I had set it to pan out to the side of me to catch some good video and for some reason all of a sudden it just started correcting and of course the uh, remote was on the deck there the drone flew itself right into the old barn, the uh, concrete wall barn. So the uh, drone is currently out of service. I have another drone. I don't know if I'm gonna go get it out. So we'll probably just do some video here with the uh, GoPro and the phone. Just basically trying to show you the cut quality that you know these decks work. The, go get the older deck, get the new deck. That's great. But if you don't wanna get the new deck, this is something that's an option. Anyway, so let's check it out.